Hey guys, Tim Little here with Tackle Bassin. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about uh, what to bring, what tackle, what gear to bring to a lake that you may never have been to before or to a lake that you haven't been to in a long time. Now uh, I'm out here visiting some family and some friends and uh, a few hours away from home and hooked up my buddy's boat. He's actually working right now. Uh, he's going to meet me out here at the lake in a little bit but I hooked up his rig and boat and we're going to go fun fishing. Now as you can see behind me this lake uh, pretty low they're pumping pumper pumping water out like crazy it's a reservoir lake um, so it's dropping fairly quickly so I didn't know what to bring do I bring my whole garage my half garage you know what do you bring so um, hopefully this video will simplify a little bit thing simplify things for you a little bit um, for me when I am traveling to a lake that I haven't been to or that I haven't been to in a long time and I don't know what to what to expect I try and bring a little bit of everything um, right off the bat I'm gonna start with top water you know I want to I want to be able to cover the whole water column so I want to be able to cover top water to a heavy jig on the bottom so um, right off the bat let's start with top water I always bring a top water rod you know it is fall these fish uh, you know Matt and I have done a couple videos recently on the fall transition and, and finding fall bass so um, we'll put a link in the video description for those but uh, the last thing you want to happen, you get out on a lake or a body of water and you come around a point into a cove and the fish have the bait fish up in the back pinned and they're just blowing up and grenading on them and you don't have a top water bait. So I always have a top water bait on. Now I'm not going to get into specific baits. Uh, in the video description I'll, below I'll put the different category the different categories. I will put uh, different links to some different baits you guys can look at. But uh, you know, I'd, I'd start off with like a like a walking style bait, uh, like a River Sea Rover or a Spook or something like that, uh, a popper, maybe something like a buzz bait style bait, like a whopper plopper or buzz bait. Um, again, this is a confidence thing, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what bait to throw, but bring what you have confidence in. You know, if you have if you're better at walking a bait or popping a bait versus just burning a bait, you know, bring that. So, so now that we got the top water covered. Let's move down a little bit. I like to bring some sort of reaction bait that I can fish shallow, you know, in that one to four foot range. So for me personally, that's gonna be a square bill. Um, I like to be able to just run the bank and, and try and get those fish to react. I am, in the fall, I am looking for a reaction bite. Uh, you wanna find those, you wanna find those schools of fish. So I'm gonna go with a, with a, a square bill. Now you you might want to go with a spinner bait or a chatter bait or um, something like that, but again that's that's up to you. So moving down the water column, uh, the next thing I'm going to bring some sort of little swim bait. You know nothing nothing gigantic, uh, maybe like a Kitek uh, rigged on a on a swim bait head or you know something like that where you could actually chuck it up there and just wind. You know, fish that four foot range to 10, 12, 15, and try and catch some of those fish that are suspended off. Uh, next, let's move down to the bottom. You know, what are your what are your confidence baits? Do you have confidence in a drop shot? Do you have confidence in a, a shaky head worm or a jig? So I'm always gonna have something that, uh, if I see fish on the graph, you know, they're down 20, 30, 40 feet, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12, maybe that's deep to you guys back east, but uh, I wanna have something I can fish the bottom. You know, these fish are chasing bait. In this lake, they, they got uh, silver sides and shad. So sometimes the bait fish is on the bottom and uh, you need something that you can fish the bottom with. So I will definitely bring a jig and some kind of finesse bait, like a tube or a, a nail weighted Cinco or a drop shot. Um, so that kind of covers the whole, the whole gamut. It covers you know, your top water all the way down to the bottom. Um, some other rods that I might throw in there, a spoon. You guys probably saw the spoon video. When they want a spoon, 
it's lights out and there's nothing you can really do besides throw a spoon uh, to catch them and uh, it's a lot of fun. So I'll probably bring a spoon and uh, if I need to, I'll throw a big bait. Um, you know, you got your huds, your magnums, top water baits, glide baits, wake baits. Um, if you're at that style of lake where you have the potential to catch a giant, I will bring some big baits. Um, and I'll probably bring a glide bait. You know, I don't know how much confidence you guys have in glide baits, but I, me personally, this is what works for me. If I come up to a spot where it just looks right, it looks like that should be the spot, you know, the juice, uh, I'll throw a big bait. I'll throw a big top water bait, I'll throw a big swim bait, or I'll throw a big glide bait. And uh, that's it, guys. I mean, you can see, I don't know, <laughs> we got a ton of rods on here, but a lot of these are, are Wes's. Um, but uh, that's how I, that's how I approach a lake that I haven't been to in a long time, or that I haven't been ever. Um, as far as soft plastics, you know, I'll throw my confidence baits in a bag. You know, I'll throw my my Senkos in there, my Kitex, my uh, uh, jig trailers. I just have it all right there, so um, easily accessible. If you're a non-boater, it's not your boat. You don't want to bring a lot of stuff. So just keep it simple, keep it compact. Obviously, if you're a boater, fill the boat, whatever you need to do. But um, I also recommend, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this is, uh, this is a box I just put together for confidence baits for me. You know, I have a different topwater bait on. I have some spoons. I have some jigs ribbed up. I have some, some square bills uh, rigged up, hooks changed out. Um, spare jigs, swim jigs, some Kitex, uh, some lipless cranks, a little bit of everything. So if uh, something's not working, I can easily switch out and I don't have to bring a ton of boxes. So anyways, guys, I hope that uh, helps. Uh, like I said, I didn't get too in depth on specific baits themselves. Stick with your confidence baits and uh, it should work out, guys. Remember guys, like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. So now I'm going to move to the outside piling. And when I hit grass, I'm, I'm popping it. And when this, it's, it's like dragging something by a, a cat. They're not looking at the bait. When that thing rips through the grass and that thing pops up the fish, it's just an instinct. They eat it. So I don't think they care about seeing the braid. <laughs> I think that it's just something that triggers in their head. They're reacting. You're getting that bite. When you 